Bottom's on top. Who's on bottom? Bottom's on top. You guys, we've gone through our top three. I want you to tell me who your bottom three are. Um, I think it's no surprise that Finland is in my bottom. Um, I mean, those guys, they're probably <laughs> sweethearts, but the song itself is just awful. I can't even say it's a song because it's just screaming and smashing on the drums and I don't know what else, but... It's so, so awful and terrible, horrible, ooh. Um, and um, Denmark is also one of my least favorites. And I remember when we were filming the video when uh, the Danish winner was announced. And I said, oh, I hate Denmark, but it's probably because I'm so furious right now that the other ex didn't win. But no, it's not because of that. It's just because it's a horrible song. I hate it. It, I don't know what it is. It looks awful. I just can't like it. So I don't want to see him in the finals this year. Um, and the other one uh, is the United Kingdom. Last year, Molly was my favorite. She was my number one. But this year, I don't know what they did. They definitely don't want to win. Um, I think the video clip is good. It really looks good, like they want to win. But if you put on the music itself, it's like, huh? oh my god, no. Are they sending this to Eurovision? Is this a joke? But no, it wasn't a joke. So now it's my bottom. <laughs> I'm going to say amen to what you said about the UK. But Denmark, I need to challenge you. It's not that bad. Like it it not, it's not a winner. I'll give you that. It's not a top ten, but it's quite catchy and it kind of grows on you if you listen to it like ninety times, like I've done. It's like, and they're very, you know, they look like a band. Like I know they just met recently for Dance Melody Grand Prix, but their yeah. photos look great. I feel cohesion. Oh my god, all the shade. Well, I like them. I think I, I, I'm not like in love with the song, but I don't think that it's as bad as everybody thinks it is. I think a lot of people hold a lot of grudges in the Eurovision community because of Anne Gadegaard and everybody loving Suitcase. I didn't. Um, <laughs> but I, oh, I always thought that it was a good song. It'll get to the final. It's not as good as A Friend in London were, but it's the same kind of thing and people will vote for it at the end of the day. Um, it'll probably be like bottom... Well, in 20 to 27 in the final, but I can't see it not making the final at this point. I think it could be Denmark's first non-qualifier in a long time. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think, honestly, I people are raving about Suitcase, but even if Suitcase had won, I think that would be in danger of not qualifying. The, their selection was quite weak this year, I thought, and I thought they just wanted to make sure that they weren't winning next year after the budget overruns and everything. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I think they just sent this as just a stopgap that it's kind of credible, it's not a joke, but I don't think it's going to light any fires. I think it's in the semis. Well, speaking of fires, Chris, who are you burning in your bottom three? So, once again, Finland are in my bottom three. Um, just I just can't get on board with the song. Um, full respect to the guys, but just not for me. Um, this one is going to be controversial. I know it is, um, but Israel are in my bottom three. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> See what I mean? Um, I just <laughs> really hate it. I like the song to begin with. I like the first thirty seconds, and then it just time. nosedives and crashes and burns. It's just terrible. It feels like something that Turkey, it feels a bit like um, Shake Up, Shake a Rim from 2007, but worse and for some reason done by the Israeli entry this year. He can't sell it. I have a feeling that it'll be really bad live and really cringeworthy. Oh just my not God. for me. Y'all, mm. the first 30 seconds, it's, it's just the opposite for me. I thought the first 30 seconds, I was like, what's going on? And then I was like, ooh, this is setting up something amazing. Like, it, in the moment, it switches, because it's kind of like three songs in one. I'll give you that. But by the time it's at the third song, which is when it really takes <laughs> off, I am just jamming. I am feeling it. And he's got charisma. Like, 16, I know he looks 40, but 16, he's got the charisma, um, the swagger. I like the story of him being some girl pissing him off, and he's got to go find new love, and so he's a golden boy. I just love it. I re it makes me happy. No, yeah, just, and we just... need something like that this year. And it's kind of self-aware at the same time without being a joke because the whole thing where he's like, oh, got to stop three minutes. And like, just <laughs> the whole song is really good. It, it like it shouldn't work, but it does. 
Mm. No, it's just really cringeworthy. It just reminds me of like a Donny Montel, where it's just that level of cringe all about it, and I just can't deal with it. I, I just can't. Um, anyway. Wait, Denise needs to have her say. Yeah. Denise. <laughs> No, it's amazing. He has an incredible voice, and I especially love the dance moves. The fact where he's, I'm a golden boy <laughs> with the arms. I really like that part. And I keep singing that song all day. I drive my family crazy with it. So, no. <laughs> I think it toes the line between like the crazy Eurovision that turns people off and the crazy Eurovision people love, and it's yeah. just on the love side. So, it's interesting enough without being alienating. Yeah. yeah. What probably also makes me hate it is that if it does qualify, I am going to be so annoyed that that qualifies and Dana International, Isabeau, uh, Moran Mazur and um, May Feingold can't qualify and yet this can. Well, only one only one of those four was better than Golden Boy and that was my No, best. they were all better. No. I'm, a, I'm a secret Israel fanboy. I even liked Isabeau. I know that I'm in the minority in that, but I liked Isabeau. Um, anyway, because I'm, I'm going to get um, publicly like flogged if I'm not careful now. Um, next up in my bottom, possibly also a controversial one, is Hungary. Um, Boggy, just because there are a lot of boring ballad songs and I know that we shouldn't talk about oh it's too ballad heavy this year um, but this, Poland, you've kind of got Czech Republic, all those songs kind of blend into one and Hungary is just kind of the bottom of that pile for me at the moment but there's a lot sort of in that bracket um, and then somehow that has elevated the UK out of my bottom three um, I think like when I did the ESC ranking thing, they came at like 30th, which I was shocked at because I really hate that song. But there you go. It's interesting with Hungary. Like we were in, or a few of us were in the Adol selection in Budapest or not in it. We were at it. Sorry. <laughs> How was it up there singing? Um, and like she emerged as our favorite after the rehearsals because like live, it, you feel something. Like I almost feel like she believes what she's singing and like it was something in the air and it made us like it. But then I see the video and I see the replay and I don't, it doesn't have the same connection for me. Something's lost. Um, so yeah, I totally feel you. Anyways, poor Hick. Yeah, my bottom tree is easy. Um, Finland, as everybody has already discussed. Moldova, because it is just an awful song that should never have been let out of the noughties. And San Marino. Yeah, which belongs in the 80s. Now, Anita and Michele, Michele whatever his name is, Michele, they're very likable. Does that not... Save the no. song for you? No. 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 <laughs> no, it's like Ralph Siegel, he's getting worse and worse as the years go by nearly. Um it's the song it's it I don't know what to say about the song. Um it's just it's not suitable for two sixteen year olds, firstly. Um like it, their parents would probably be too young to sing a song of that <sighs> vintage. And it's just so cheesy and no, it doesn't work. And I don't buy them as a duo after seeing the performance either and the production values are low and no it's just all horrible yeah the song i can't really identify the melody i i'm like trying it's about candles oh that's right somebody must have dumped some water on it because they burned out for me y'all um <laughs> but the thing is i really like anita and him and i, I want them to do well because they're 16 and but yeah i don't think it's gonna happen all yeah. right my bottom three now I gotta say, this is really hard, because I actually really like the majority of songs this year. This is the first time in a long time, like, I'm really struggling to throw some shade. Um, but definitely in the bottom three is Austria, the Make Makes with I Am Yours. I just don't get it. It sounds like a cheap version of Coldplay's The Scientist. Like, they tried to make it bluesier. It just doesn't work. I feel like they also need to take a shower. There's something about them on stage that looks a little dirty. And, like, I ain't got nothing against Hobo. Because, y'all, I come from a... Yeah, I, it, I don't I ain't got nothing about Hobo. But I don't like their look, the sound. It just... It puts me off. I find it really boring. Like, the second and third minute is okay, but the first minute needs to go. It's like, get me to minute two, and then we can talk. Um... I'm not actually going to put Finland in my bottom three, maybe my bottom five or six, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm hoping that maybe when they actually like add, I don't know, another minute and a half to their song, um, there might be some progression. 
Um, you really want to listen to this song one and a half minute more than it already is? <laughs> Maybe they'll put in a really nice silent bridge with guitars. <laughs> Um, I think the UK is still in my bottom three. I really want to like it because I watched the video again and I think the two performers, like, they have some sort of charm. Like, I want them to do well, but, like, the song just, I feel like it's beneath them. It's like, if we had given them something else, maybe they would have, like, soared. Um, and finally, probably Moldova. Yeah. Like, we've talked about this before. Someone joked, it's dated, the lyrics are bad, it's cheesy. Perfect! Um, but I don't feel that way. I feel like no. this isn't so bad, it's good, it's just bad. Um, and I actually yeah, and then, think Moldova will struggle to get out of the semi-final. And then the whole fact that they couldn't even be bothered to record a new video for it, and they just recycled an old video. And like, even... Okay, fair enough, there's the car chase in the video, and they could have used that, but then like, there's the scene where he's sitting down, which would not have been expensive to re-record, and he's there, and there's completely <laughs> different words coming out of his mouth that don't match his mouth movements at all. Like, I think the Moldovans aren't even pushed about him either. <laughs> yeah, to, I think that's kind of probably part of it. Like, the Moldovan broadcaster were like, yeah, we're not getting behind you whatsoever. Just use your own money to make your own video. <laughs> and that was the best that he could do. Now, y'all, we know who we don't like, you know, personally as music lovers, but who do you think will finish last based on voting patterns, history, the jury vote, etc.? Oh, this is in the final. Yeah. The final. I think... Malta. Malta? Yeah, I think Last? they'll make the I think that they'll make the final and then it'll just sort of get swamped by the other songs. And I just have this feeling that lovely voice, lovely girl, but it doesn't really go anywhere, even with the, the remade version. I just have a feeling like it's never the people who you expect. Last year, everybody was convinced that Eliza would finish last, and they didn't. And it actually turned out to be Twin Twin, who everybody liked, but let's face it, didn't bring it live. Um, the only other person who I could think of who would finish last if they made the final would be Ireland. And that's if Molly makes the final, which I'm not sure if she will. Um, oh my again, God. That I love Molly. I, l I really like it. It's not that I don't like these songs. It's just that I think the support won't be there. Um, and, I, yeah, I just I just can't see them getting very far in the final if they do make it. Like, Malta had a great song last year, I thought, with Coming Home that should have been the top half and end up near the bottom. So, yeah, I just, I just don't see Malta getting very far this year. Um, uh, maybe Romania. Um, I do think that they will qualify, but their song isn't as strong. I mean, the meaning of the song is great, um, but their English, well, it sucks, so a lot of people wouldn't understand it. Um, so I think they will qualify, but they will be somewhere in the bottom, and I know it's Romania, but they may be less. Yeah, out of mind then, say out of the bottom tree, I think Finland could qualify and then do awful in the final. That's a possibility. But then out of the other finals, I think the UK could come last. Because they're saying, oh, it's different, it's upbeat, it's in, in a ballad heavy year. But like they've sent different in the past, Andy Abraham and Josh Dubovi and stuff, and it didn't work. And I don't think it's going to work for them this year. Um, my big problem with the UK is that they need loads of backing dancers and they need loads of backing singers. They're only allowed six people on stage, so they're going to have to sacrifice one over the other and it's going to not work. Um, yeah, I think the UK would probably be my last for the final. Yeah, I, increasingly, I think Finland will do quite well. Like, because when I tell people who are not Eurovision fans about the band, they're like, "Oh wow, that sounds amazing." And it's mm -hmm. like, I feel like their story is like, because it's not a gimmick; it's a reality. And I feel like for, that's gonna like strike a chord with people, even if the song is like atrocious, which it is. Um, I think they'll come top ten. I just have this feeling. Um, in terms of last place, I think Pork spot on. The UK is really going to struggle. It's really going to struggle. I think they'll get maybe one point or two points from Belarus, and that will be it. I think, I think maybe France might struggle as well. Oh, I love Lisa Angel. Yeah. yeah. I love that. <laughs> She's not a Patricia Cast level performer, but she can perform it live. As long as they don't... If she's, like, nicely dressed and stuff, if they just throw her out in, like, any old clothes, then I think that she might not have that impact. But if the staging's right, I just think that that's the kind of song that can 
rise above um, the others. Because you know how certain songs, when they're dark, do really well? Like, if they make it really dark on stage, she's in a black dress, and she's like, you know, it's gonna be like, <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. And because her skin is quite pale in her promotional photos, and it really pops. So, like, I don't know, I'm getting to, like, you know, black background, <laughs> white face, dark song, top 20. Another well song, another song that could struggle if it makes the final is Switzerland. Oh, like I, I love, that. I love Melanie Renee, but we're forgetting about her. That's the thing. I think she'll qualify because she's in a good spot in that second semi-final. Like she's in the second half, and she's only got um, Monica from Poland as the only other kind of slower female-led song because the only other ones are Maria Aminata and Maria who are obviously a duo, but female vocalist. I think she'll qualify from that, but then it's Switzerland. And they came last with, um, what's the face in 2011? Yeah. And again, we're talking the comparisons with 2011 so much could happen again. But I don't think they will qualify, or she will qualify. Um, I've made a list for myself with... uh, Songs that I think will qualify from the second semifinal, and it's a really hard semifinal, so I don't think she will be in it. I uh, see. I've got I've got a clear top ten in that second, and she is in it. So well, fortunately, <laughs> our YouTube fans and subscribers can watch that video separately, which is coming soon. <laughs> As for now, that's what we think about the bottom. What do you think? Let us know here on Weebly Blogs and on YouTube at Weebly TV. <laughs> see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.